Blender users seem to have a love-hate relationship with the 3D cursor. My problem is, I have difficulty determining its orientation in the world. The rotation of the cursor is useful for snapping objects to a specific orientation or as a transform orientation. But these are difficult to evaluate since the cursor is small and its axes are unlabeled. As a solution, I have devised a simple but effective supplementary axis for the 3D cursor that makes it easy to see and interpret its orientation. I can easily rotate it around its normal z-axis, change its size, color, and visibility. Since the axis is simply an empty, I can change its appearance to any of the various empty object types, including an image with which you can customize the cursor appearance. The empty is attached to the 3D cursor using drivers, which I will demonstrate how to construct at the end of this tutorial. Or you can download a script I have provided in the video description. To change the cursor appearance, select the empty object and display the object data properties. Select any display type from the menu and change the size in the size field or right click in the 3D viewport and select adjust empty display size then move your mouse left or right. You can further control the axis display in the object properties viewport display. You can display a cursor label, a default axis, and maintain visibility in front of all objects. Using the default object axis you can combine that with the other empty types to enhance the visibility. You can change the color of the empty in Preferences, Themes, 3D Viewport, Empty. You can change the Blender cursor color with View Overlay or hide it in the 3D Viewport overlays. To create the cursor using the script, open the downloaded script in the script editor, then run the script. To construct the cursor axes from scratch, first create an empty and rename it 3D Cursor Axes. In the Viewport View Properties, right mouse click on the 3D Cursor Location X and select Copy Data Path. In the Empty Object Properties, right click on Transform Location X and select Add Driver. For the driver type, select Averaged Value. Select Single Property Variable Type and Scene Property Type. The property is the scene in which you are currently working. In the Path field, paste the data path you copied from the 3D Cursor Location X and append it with dot .x. Back in the empty Transform Properties, right-click on Location X and select Copy Driver. Then paste the driver into location Y and Z and rotation X, Y and Z. Select the Y location channel in the driver editor and change the path to cursor.location.y. Change the Z location driver to location.z. In the 3D cursor properties, right click on rotation X and select copy data path. Then select the X Euler rotation in the Drivers Editor and paste into the path. Append the path with dot .x. Paste the path into the rotation Y and Z, then append those paths with dot .y and dot .z respectively. Finally, change both 3D cursor and empty rotation orders to ZXY Euler. Hopefully, this will make your interaction with the 3D cursor more tolerable and productive.